Welcome back to Finance Homefront. I'm Craig, and today we're diving into one of the most fascinating aspects of Bitcoin. It's having events and their impact on BTC pricing. Before we get started, I'd like to thank you for tuning in. Remember, this video is for informational purposes only and is not financial advice. If you find this content valuable, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more insights into the world of finance and cryptocurrency. Let's explore how Bitcoin's halving can shape its market dynamics and what that means for you as an investor. Bitcoin's historical price trajectory has been closely tied to its halving events. The influence of these halvings on Bitcoin's price is a topic of ongoing debate, yet a pattern of cyclical behavior seems evident with each event. However, it's important to recognize that Bitcoin's price does not exist in isolation. A variety of macroeconomic factors can influence its valuation, including changes in money supply, interest rates, geopolitical events, and overall market sentiment. Establishing a direct causal link between having events or any single factor and Bitcoin's price movements is challenging. Nonetheless, due to the consistent historical trends associated with having events, combined with the fundamental aspects of how the Bitcoin network operates, we can derive educated predictions. The most straightforward way having events affect Bitcoin's price involves the basic economic principle of supply and demand. When the issuance of new Bitcoins is cut in half, the reduced supply should lead to higher prices, assuming demand remains stable or increases. Furthermore, miners who earn fewer Bitcoins have less to sell, which decreases overall selling pressure in the market. The upcoming halving event could have an even more significant impact on Bitcoin's price due to anticipated increases in demand coinciding with the reduced supply driven by critical developments in the cryptocurrency space. Before diving into future predictions, let's review how previous halvings have influenced Bitcoin's price. Noting the price of Bitcoin in US dollars at the time of each halving and at the peak of the following cycle. The first halving, November 28th, 2012. The inaugural halving occurred on November 28th, 2012, reducing the block reward from 50 Bitcoins to 25 Bitcoins. Price at the time of halving, $13, and the following year's peak price was $1,152. Before this first halving, Bitcoin was largely unknown, except to the cypherpunks who had worked on the technology since its early days. When the price soared from double digits to over $1,000, Bitcoin began to attract some media attention. Despite this, it wasn't yet taken seriously outside the immediate community. By the time the price fell back to around $200 in 2015, many critics declared the Bitcoin bubble had burst, proclaiming its demise. This skepticism persisted through subsequent cycles. The second halving occurred on July 16, 2016, reducing the block reward to 12 and a half Bitcoins. The price at the time of halving was $664 and the following year's peak price, $17,760. This halving event brought Bitcoin and the broader cryptocurrency market into the public spotlight, accompanied by a wave of media criticism. The altcoin and initial coin offering, ICO, boom took place during this period, leading to numerous scams and failed crypto startups. The third halving took place on May 11, 2020, reducing the block reward to six and a quarter Bitcoins. The price at the time of halving was $9,734 and the following year's peak price um, came in at $67,549. The third halving was distinct in that it occurred amid the COVID-19 pandemic when much of the global economy was in lockdown. Despite this, 
Bitcoin's price pattern adhered closely to previous cycles. It was also during this period that notable investors like Paul Tudor Jones and Michael Saylor announced significant investments in Bitcoin. In each of these cycles, the impact of halving events on Bitcoin's price followed a recognizable pattern. There was a substantial rally leading up to the halving, followed by a brief correction and consolidation phase before a significant bull run culminating in a peak approximately 18 months post halving. This is a simplified but accurate description of the last three cycles. By late 2023, many market participants believed that Bitcoin was in the pre-halving rally phase of the current cycle. Let us look at the predictions for the 2024 Bitcoin halving. The Bitcoin halving event in 2024 is particularly noteworthy as it coincides with the potential approval of a spot Bitcoin exchange traded fund ETF in the United States. Another critical factor is the interest rate environment. Historically, Bitcoin has performed well in a lower interest rate setting, although 2023 demonstrated that Bitcoin could also thrive during periods of higher rates. Many market analysts believe the Federal Reserve may halt rate hikes and possibly begin rate cuts in 2024. Here are some Bitcoin price predictions for the 2024 halving from industry veterans. 1. Coin Codex predicts a Bitcoin price peak above $170,000 in August 2025, followed by a retracement to levels around $95,000 to $100,000. 2. Bitquant anticipates a new all-time high during the pre-halving rally, with a post-halving peak exceeding $250,000. 3. CryptoCon, a popular analyst, forecasts a new high of approximately $130,000 around November 2025, about four years after the previous peak. 4. Marshall Beard of Gemini suggests a $100,000 price target, assuming Bitcoin reaches its prior high of $69,000. Only time will reveal which Bitcoin price predictions for the 2024 halving come to fruition, if any. As always, it is crucial to conduct your own research, stay informed about the latest industry developments, and never invest more than you can afford to lose. That wraps up our deep dive into Bitcoin's halving events and their impact on BTC pricing. I hope you found this exploration insightful and now have a better understanding of how these events can influence the market. As always, stay informed, do your own research, and remember that investing in cryptocurrency carries risks. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Finance Homefront for more content on finance and crypto. I'm Craig and thanks for watching. See you next time.